what are you doing? Why? Why? You tried so hard. It's like you're deliberately asking me to call you out. Hi guys, I just celebrated my birthday this month and I was like, huh, wow, another year, huh? And it got me thinking about all the little shells of wisdom that I've collected along the coast of life so far and what I've learned, especially about content creation. Because just five years ago, I wasn't even practicing my craft. I was hardly even ready to claim my love for creating. There's a saying, most people overestimate how much they can get done in one year and often underestimate how much they can get done in 10. So if you feel like you're not in a place where you'd like to be with your art or creation, don't worry because today instead of creating this pretty pretty necklace of the seashells that i picked up along the way to wear as my badge of honor i don't know instead i'm gonna be sharing it all with you so that you don't have to spend the next 10 years of your life trying to become the creator of your dreams today i'm gonna be going through six editing mistakes for you to leave behind in 2022 along with the bad energies and the toxic people that you know didn't really care much for you in the first place if you had to question it time and time again mm -mm. The first editing mistake we need to address is fonts and colors. Pick one, just one, two, three at most if you really feel the need to go a little crazy, but no more. You stop after that because if you're using more than three different colors and two different fonts, three different fonts, you're on a different plane of chaos. I cannot fathom. Why? Why, why so complicated? People get it. You're a little fancy with it. You want to use a little italics. You want to use a little cursive. Try not to use cursive. It's hard to read unless it's really your style, your aesthetic, and it feeds into the whole thing. But legible, legible fonts are what people like. It's easy, it's straightforward. People don't have to pause your video and really like dig into it. No, 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 nobody has time for that. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Stop, stop it. While we're on the topic of captions though, it's not exactly a mistake per se, but it is highly, highly advised that when you're creating your reels or your TikToks, by now you should be including captions there. If you are doing a talking video like this or story time, it makes a huge difference. Trust me. Number two, choppy cuts. We need to address this, especially if you are talking in a video. Hitting the start and stop button and not editing that part out can get really, really distracting and can really ruin the flow and attention of people who want to actually pay attention to what you have to say. You see how distracting that is? You see how ridiculous that is? You see how you almost wanted to close the tab or click on the next video, but you didn't? You almost did, but you didn't because you know there is much more to learn here. Mm -hmm. I don't like it, don't leave it in. I get it, because sometimes you have a train of thought and you don't think about anything else and you want to just hit record and tell your story and talk about your day, but we're not on a FaceTime here. There is an editing app for you to use very easily and just cut out the part where you reach for the camera because it is too much. You can finish your video, import it into an editing app. I have a plethora of videos on editing apps. Make it a little bit neater, a little bit more tidy, you know? It's quite literally stopping and starting the flow of people's attention span to your video. Why? Why do that? People wanna hear your story, let them in. It will make a difference. It will, just letting you know. Speaking of cleaning up, we need to talk about transitions. A transition, if you don't know yet, is where one clip leads into the next one very smoothly, which means if you are going to be using transitions, you need to be ending the first clip the way that you're starting the next one. Transitions can be very, very nice when they're applied correctly, but if not, it can get a little crazy. So I don't wanna be seeing you guys swiping your hand in the first clip and then clapping on the next one Maybe some of you guys are there. Maybe you guys have advanced in your transitions. But if you are new here and this is a video that you've chosen to level up your editing skills, this is now your new standard, okay? You cannot go back. No looking back. Don't do it. No, I'm sure people know not to have such a stark difference between your before and after, like you should do the same actions, but I will say it is really, really important the way that you cut the video in editing as well. I've seen a lot of videos where people do the same action in their before and after, but then they don't cut it at the right timing or the way that they've set up their camera is a little bit like off and it completely makes a huge difference in the video and it makes a little bit of a mesh 
in between all of it, okay? And it ruins the effect and why you tried so hard to implement this beautiful transition. Why stop now? If you're gonna commit to using a transition, you commit all the way through, all the way until you click export after you edited the video. And if you are new to transitions or you want some ideas on how to do some really, really easy ones, some beginner-friendly ones, I do have a video over here already about it, so go check it out, go fly, go make your videos better. Go. But don't click off just yet. I have much more to share with you, so watch that afterwards. Come stay, sit down, grab a tea. Let's move on to the next one. This one is very, very, very important. I mean, they're all important, but this one... Music and audio syncing. If you are uploading and your music and your audio has not sunk together... I don't know. Some of you guys just love living on the edge of life. Some of you guys just really love towing the line, but no, 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 no. I get it. Sometimes there's malfunction. Sometimes it can be difficult to get the lip sync going on with the music or the audio, the trending sound that you're using. But once, okay, okay, I get it. Twice? Three times, more times, now you're just making excuses. What are you doing? It's like you're deliberately asking me to call you out. You know who you are. Maybe it's syncing when you are creating it and then you upload it and then it doesn't work out, but no excuses. Please fix it. If you start making excuses here, what's next in life? Is it time to start pondering why this habit of making excuses is why you don't go to bed on time? Is it why you aren't done with the book that you started last July? Yeah, that was me. No more. It ends here. Write it down. I don't care. Write down the snippet of the film that that audio is trending from. Write it down so you can read off of it and then memorize it and then do the lip sync because uh, there are a lot of ways to get the music in sync. I suggest filming outside of the platform and then importing it in post okay i've done that in my past videos go check them out you can do this this is a new page in your book a new chapter even okay i don't want to hear it the next one filters and effects are you the one who's using like two different filters five different effects you have like snow in one clip and then you have like the film shutter in the next one I get it though, I do, I really do, because there are really cute filters out there. One of my favorite ones that I've used in the past, like not for an actual reel, but just like for stories, stories are different. You can just use all the filters you want for your stories. There was one really cute one with like fairy wings. So I get it, I get it, the temptation, it's there. Don't overdo it if you are creating reels because it really draws attention away from the main point of your video, which is you. Whatever you're showing off, your fit, your family, where you got an opportunity at your fairy tale chance of love. I am all for the cute filters. Just try to keep it to a minimum if you do feel the need to to use it and try to pick a subtle one. It's also good to be wary of the fact that when you do use a filter like a face filter and then you have like those reactional videos where you're like <gasps> like something like that people can see that and I don't know you don't have to care about that but I'm just saying be wary of it if if you are trying to do something with the filter I think the only place that it's more acceptable to use these stronger filters is when the point of the video is the actual filter itself like you know those scrolling scrambling words on top of your head that you get people to do or like those prank videos where like the filter is morphing of the face I think those are obviously you know part of the essence of what you're trying to create. In my opinion, it feels a little like sus. Like, what are you hiding? What are you hiding behind your, what are those called? Um, do -do 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 halo, your halo effect. I don't know. I don't know what the cool filter are these days, but also what are the cool filters these days? Speaking of main points, make sure that your reels have intention. What is the point of this video that you're trying to make? Are you trying to show your outfit, the beautiful scenery that you're looking at? Are you trying to show you unboxing something? I need to know what it is as a audience member to actually stick around to want to find out. And it doesn't have to be something super serious or complicated. You could literally just be trying to show um, a dog on the street that's wearing a hot dog costume. Like, that's very cute. But if you have the video pan to the dog and then the sky and then zoom out and I, it's a mess. It's a mess. I don't know that there is a cute dog that my attention is supposed to be focused on and that's where you want your audience to be. You want them to not leave your video so that you can actually get your point across and actually show them like, look, this dog 
He's very important to me now. Hot dog! Just remember that with this digital age of social media now, everybody's attention span is like, it's like Z. So speaking of attention span, if you're still here, drop a comment down below. Dog and a hot dog emoji. To let me know if you're still paying attention because I want to know. I want to know if you're really learning here, okay? I appreciate you. I try to teach you guys important lessons about being a creator online. So I appreciate you. Thanks for being here dog emoji. Even if it is a story time where there is nothing necessarily to show, it's really important that you grasp the audience attention grasp by having this main point that you would get to. Unless you are that chaotic energy and that is the main point of your profile and your videos, all to you. I love a good chaotic reel, okay? But just like an English essay, there should be a start, a middle, and an end, okay? Where does it end? I don't know. Maybe it ends in a loop, which is one of my favorite kind of videos. So that is up to you. I know I said six, but here's a little bonus tip for you guys. If you have stuck around here long enough, this one is for you. To counter everything I just said, do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Do whatever you feel like flows through you creatively and learn your own mistakes. Figure out what works best for you. As long as you guys are creating and you're proud of what you're creating and you're actually putting yourself out there to try and try again and try to make better content every single time that you post, then I am so proud of you and I'm happy for you because Honestly, without any of those first steps, like none of these things that I'm saying today is even going to matter to you because you'll just be cowering in fear of all the things that you should and shouldn't be doing on social media. And you know what? The best types of accounts that I've seen nowadays are the ones that try something different. Like truly, there's such a variety of accounts nowadays that are popping off for their individualistic, unique type of editing style or like storylines or whatever it is. And you know what? There's always going to be somebody who doesn't like what you do. And if you feel like you're doing everything that I said to not do and you're happy with it and it's working for you then by all means like what do I know I'm just some woman on the internet who is trying to steer you in the right direction like a border collie with sheep it is my favorite dog right now but something that really always helps me and encourages me to keep creating is not only like everything that I've been saying in all of my videos and if you don't know what I've been saying then go back and watch them but is the fact that you never know when one video is going to pop off and do really well for you. It All it takes is one video and I truly believe that and I'm truly seeing that right now with my channel. Thank you so much if you've been here from the start or if you're just joining me here. I am so happy that you're here to find my channel and we are on this creative journey together. We're gonna figure this out together and I hope this video will serve you well go comment down below what you want to improve on this year both in life in general and with your content because i would love to read it don't forget to follow me on instagram for more life updates or more creative content so with that being said go create a life that you're proud of see you next time bye